Hey guys, um, there was a question about how to do a monogram in Design Space and this just seemed like the quickest, easiest way. So with no warning, I'm going live and I just want to show you how I would create uh, this monogram. Okay, so first of all, you need to have the correct font and one of the fonts you can use for this is called Monogramos, Monogramos, whatever you want to call it and it is on defont.com. This is a free font. It is for personal use only. Um, so if you wanted to use it to sell something, you would need to purchase the rights to use it. Anyways, I have downloaded this font and it's on my computer and it's in Cricut Design Space because once you install a font onto your computer, Cricut Design Space will recognize it. So these I'm going to uh, get rid of, go ahead and select these and get rid of this and start over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to text and on this font, the lowercase letters give you a black letter and the uppercase letters give you a white letter with a black outline around it. So I'm going to use lowercase letters and my first initial is W. So down here in the text box, I'm going to type W and you'll see this font is weird. It is considered a font, but it gives you all three letters. So what you need to do is we're gonna use the slice tool to um, go in and get rid of the letters we don't want and keep the letters that we do want. So in, I wanna make sure that they all are the same size when we're slicing and importing them so we don't have to fiddle with that later. So what I'm gonna do is with the initial selected, I'm gonna come up here to size and I'm just gonna choose a random number. I want it sort of big so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter eight. So it's gonna make it eight inches, which is pretty big and probably not as big as you want your final product, but it'll make it nice and big here on the screen. And so now I only need this first W for the monogram. So I wanna get rid of the middle and the last W. So now from here, this is one element. You can move them around. They're all attached to each other. I'm going to come over here and click on shapes. I'm going to choose a square, okay? It's gonna bring up a square and I want to get rid of the middle and the last W. So I'm gonna bring this square, if it'll let me select it, over the top, I'm gonna click this little lock button and that's going to allow me to make that square into a rectangle the size that I want it. If you don't click on that lock, it's just gonna keep it um, a, a perfect square. So I've now covered over those initials that I don't want, okay? And I'm going to now select both the monogram that's there and the square. And you can see over here in the layers that both of the layers are highlighted and there's only two things. So now from here, this is where you get to go down to the lower right and select slice, okay? So I'm gonna select slice now. And what it will do is it kind of acts like a cookie cutter. It's going to cut these letters out of the square like a cookie cutter. So I'm going to click on the, on well, it's gonna select the letters. I'm just gonna start clicking on things under the square and deleting them. I'm gonna click on the square now and delete that. And now I can click on these letters and you'll see that these two letters are highlighted, but this one is not. And so I'm going to delete those. And now I'm left with the one initial. So now what you need to do is go and enter your next initial. So I'm gonna to go to text. I'm still in, I've chosen the correct font and that was already chosen when we started. So sorry, you just need to go in and select your font. And now I'm gonna um, type in R and on this font, like I said at the beginning, lowercase letters give you the black letter, uppercase letters give you a white letter with a black outline. So here's my R down here. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that over. Now I want these to be the same size and so I had selected up here in the size eight inches. So I'm gonna go up here 
and select eight inches again, like so, and push enter. So now these letters are the same size as the first one I did, okay? So now with this set of letters or initials, I wanna keep the middle one. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back over to the shapes and I'm gonna choose a square again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and choose, put the square over that middle one. And again, in order to create a rectangle the size we want it, we select the lock button and now we are able to size that the way we want it. And I'm just gonna cover up that middle R, which I actually chose the wrong initial, but that's okay. And now I'm going to select both of those. Again, this these R's are actually just one element. It's not three. They're, the way this font works is kind of funky. So, But now that we have both the rectangle and the R selected, I'm gonna come down here and I can choose slice and it's gonna give me that cookie cutter again. But now what I wanna get rid of is I wanna get rid of these outside R's. And so I'm gonna just click on one of those R's and delete it. I wanna get rid of the gray letter, which was cut out. And I also wanna get rid of the rectangle. And now I'm left with the R. So I'm gonna drag the R over here next to the W and I'm gonna go and select my last um, initial. So I actually screwed up my initials. It should be WGR, but it's gonna be WRG. So, um, and I'm sorry if anybody's asking me questions right now, um, I cannot see them. So I'm not sure if you guys are asking me questions. I'm trying to, I think when I have the camera facing my computer, I can't see the questions. So I will go back and answer any questions um, if they're in the comments when I'm done. So I'm gonna go back over here to text. So hello to you guys who are watching me. Um, now I'm going to select G, and um, again, I'm gonna do a lowercase g because in this font, that's giving me what I want with just the black letters. I'm gonna scooch it over, and I'm gonna go up here, and because I've selected eight inches wide on my other letters, I'm gonna select eight inches wide up here one more time and it's gonna make these letters the size that they need to be to match up with the W and the R. So now with this one, all I want, all I need is the last G. So I need to get rid of the first G and the middle G. So now I'm gonna go back over to the shapes and choose the square. And it's gonna give me a little square. I'm gonna drag that square over here to the G's Again, I'm gonna click that little lock button which will allow me to create a rectangle out of the square and I'm gonna drag that over the G's like that, the ones that I wanna get rid of. Then I will select both the rectangle and the G and come down here and click slice and that's gonna give me my cookie cutter effect and I just wanna get rid of everything that's over here I'm gonna click, that's gonna get rid of the gray G's. This is gonna get rid of the square. And now I'm gonna get rid of those two black G's. And now I'm left with that last G and I'm gonna slide it over here. Now, to line them up, you can select all of them together and then go up here to where it says align. And first thing I'm gonna do is center them vertically. So it's gonna take the centers of the letters and just line them up like so. So that looks good. All of these areas right here are matching up in a nice circular fashion pattern, whatever you wanna call it. Now I'm gonna go back up to a line and I'm going to choose distribute horizontally. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna put equal spacing between those letters. So I'm gonna click that and then now did you see it moved the R over a little bit. So now there's the same amount of space between the R and the G and the W and the R. And so if you do want to have those a little bit closer together, you can go ahead and select them and move them. But I think that looks pretty good. Now, if you want them all to stay together, you wanna to select everything and then you wanna go over here. Um, you can group them, that'll keep them, 
That'll allow you to move them together, but when you go to make it, they'll still be separate. So you wanna come down here and you wanna to go to attach. So they're grouped and attached. So if we were to go over to make it, push make it, you'll see it's gonna keep them all together where they're supposed to be. Now, this is probably too big. You would want to go in and um, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this just to show you since we're here and I'm gonna select everything and you can either choose how how big you want it by using the height and the width or you can just come down here to the little corner arrow and drag it to be the size that you want it. So I hope that helped. Again, I can't see any of the questions if anybody was asking questions, but if you were just watching, thanks for joining in and I hope this is helpful for those of you that have been trying to do monograms and I'll just say it one more time. I said it in the beginning, so watch the replay. Um, this font is called Monogramos, and it's weird because each letter is three letters together, and that's why you have to go in and slice them apart, um, because when you type in M, it gives you three M's and not just one. So anyways, hope that's helpful. Have a great evening, you guys. Bye.